What is wrong with climate change messaging? What works and what is wrong with climate messaging? The best way I would frame it is that there are many ways to succeed with climate messaging. And it isn't obvious in, in broad strokes that some particular kinds of messages are always going to perform better than others. Mm -hmm. So I'd say that there are all these different routes that can be really helpful to take. So there is a lot of good evidence on communicating about the impacts of climate change, making it more concrete to people. Mm -hmm. But there's also a bunch of evidence on the scientific consensus around climate change and how learning that essentially every climate scientist on the planet has concluded that yeah. human caused climate change is happening is a big deal and we've got to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so there's a whole literature just on that that has been really influential. But then as we just discussed, there are religious appeals or other identity appeals that matter a lot. Mm -hmm. And I put those into a more general category of social norms as well. Like people like us or people in our in-group believe this. So often people underestimate how much others care about climate change. And when they learn that, that people do care about it, they are also more likely to care about it. Mm -hmm. And so there are all these different ways that, that you can be successful in building public understanding about climate change and motivation to address it. Mm -hmm. So it isn't obvious uh, which one is going to perform better than the next one, as long as there's some baseline level mm -hmm. of quality of argumentation and information. But I'd say a, a big overarching factor in deciding whether a message has gotten it wrong or is, is going to do well is typically around relevance. Mm -hmm. So often messaging that falls flat is overly technical or talking about things that are more yeah. abstract, yeah. like the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere or melting ice caps or, or stuff like that, where those things are super important. But day to day, people are not going to be thinking about that. So there's uh, the focus on relevance is so key because that's what gets people to initially pay attention and actually engage with it. Mm -hmm. And so our our friends at Yale Climate Connections do amazing work with this where you can find a story that matches your exact situation yeah. that is interesting in a number of ways and that speaks to the impacts on you and your community and also uh, various solutions to the problem. And so things like that are just like great examples of, of what to do for climate communication.